Afternoon guys, a blustery day at Sunseeker Pool down at the factory headquarters today to see a Predator 60 Evo. Uh, fresh out of the box, this one's just going through final test at the shipyard. This is boat 119, uh, powered by the D13 900 horsepower engines, which is the standard engine. And here she is behind us. See so a float having just gone through final sea trials, last of a few detailing bits to do. Um, I haven't got the cushions out today as it's a, a rather miserable day here in pool so we'll have a look at those in the cabins when we have a look inside. Uh, you've got the full hydraulic bathing platform on the stern here, 450 kilo lift on that as well as a garage that sits in that centre section here which will take a Williams 325 jet tender. Uh, also standard fit on this boat, we'll have a look in a sec here is a single berth crew cabin. So loaded up it's a med spec boat here, we're running about 1.38 million pounds X tax base boat we're coming in about 1.135 million. So we're about 18% extras, uh, which is pretty typical on something of this size. The only notable item missing on this particular spec would be a, a gyro stabilizer, if you so wish, uh, but really not required for a lot of owners, certainly here in the UK, where we tend to go from one marina to another. Not something so much that we, uh, that we see on the spec list. So we just come on around here, you can see she's got the synthetic decking pack standard here on the bathing platform and up into the cockpit and we've also then got the synthetic decking running up the side nice carbon fiber detailing here underneath the aft overhang for the sunbed there's a backrest cushion and then a base to make that into a seat on an ad hoc basis crew cabin say tucked in the in the stern here so we've got a single bed that runs longitudinal underneath the garage floor there uh, that's a small toilet. There's a pop-out sink in the wall up there. Mostly used for storeroom at this size, so wet room floor, so easy to drag canopies out. That's a canopy bag sat in that grey pouch there. Not many owners really choosing to, to run a captain at this size. Uh, we've got the Performance AV packs. You'll see some speakers on the back here, nice little LED lights as well. If you were running here in the UK, there's a, a full enclosure canopy that goes around the back here if we just look at one alongside us here which is just going through commissioning you can see the the canvas on there which makes this cockpit then a usable proposition on not such nice days so we come access on the starboard side up into the cockpit you immediately see we've got controls for passerelle lighting battery switches everything falling nicely to hand stern docking winches part of the Mediterranean pack with nice little bins here for the tailing off the ropes and we'll do the exterior first so we've got nice big wide walk decks here so we can go down forwards you see as I'm walking down here loads of room and then up on the bows we've got rope storage lockers also get a, maybe a fender each side in those big centre sunbathing area, these are lift up backrests on the cushions, some nice little carbon fibre detailing, cup holders, loads of cleats everywhere so these are great for your spring lines, LED deck lights running along the tow rails here, a four deck wash down point here, so upgraded anchor winch, a 32 kilo Anchor up forward there, delta anchor, 90 metres of galvanised chain. It's all sitting in here. Storage for, uh, for fenders up forward there, and you've got this handy little rail for tying off the fender lines. So really imposing looking boats, these Pred 60s, very pretty boat. And you've got the optional black painted mullions here. Gives it a real aggressive shape. You can see the boat here alongside us has also got the black roof uh, but they've elected to go with the grey hull on this one with a black boot top stripe rather than this particular boat we're on now which has the white hull with a black stripe nice little detailing of the badges here so we're just going to come under the overhang here to escape the the drizzle that's settled in for the afternoon so we've got a big u-shaped seating area here on the port side of the cockpit nice big opening teak table and you'll see space for a life raft 
There's also some deck lockers in the top here, handy for cleaning kit, provision storage and what have you. Over here on the starboard side of the cockpit, we've got an ice maker, a refrigerator, Kenyan electric griddle, a little sink, and then the option for a set of second station controls in here. Uh, we don't fit them as standard purely as there's so many options for remote systems these days. Really leave that up to an owner to decide what they prefer. You can see now some of the finishes that we've got. Some nice little stainless steel strips here. If I put some lights on here, you see the LEDs coming to life here up in the ceiling. Really nice finish on this particular boat. So woodwork wise, we've got a Cadoran hardwood flooring upgrade here, which is the silver oak finish. And it contrasts really nicely with this satin finish on the, uh, the Venge wood here. It's a dark wood, obviously several options, including the silver oak throughout and also the eucalyptus wood that's been introduced this year. But it works really nicely with the LED feature lighting underneath there. Uh, there's a 43 inch part of the AV package, 43 inch TV in the high-low there. There's an additional fridge. Glasses storage. There's your DVD player up top there, which is also doing the surround sound. You'll see the Sonance speakers up in the ceiling there. It's got Apple TVs running throughout the boat. Great big hull windows here. And then helm chairs, we've got two contrasting colours here. Nice little detail on the, the grey leather with a, a contrast fabric. And then Simrad Premium Pack, so this is uh, two 16 inch Simrad multifunction displays. Uh, we've also got a six kilowatt open array radar. There's autopilot, which is the control down here. Uh, Volvo's two and a half inch color displays for those 900 horsepower engines. Wireless charging point for your mobile phone. Uh, this is a iPad mini set up for the AV and the future Sunseeker app with more connectivity options. And then over here on the starboard hand, you've got DSC radio, uh, proportional bow and stern thrusters with a station hold function, the buttons on the side here. And then this particular boat's got the hydrodynamic hydro pack. So it's the Humphrey stabilization uh, interceptor trim tabs, as well as the hydrodynamic rudders and also the electric upgrade on the steering. So it really does mean you can throw the boat around and get a real driver's boat when you wish but equally very sedate and happy cruising all day at 22 to 24 knots. Good cruising range of about 300 nautical miles at that speed. Uh, part of the premium Simrad pack, we've got the multifunction steering wheel here. So rather than having to lean forward and touch the gauges, we've got everything nicely here on the, the steering wheel control. And then we've got Volvo's uh, partner Zenta joystick system here. So that's throttles back to neutral, activate the joystick and then it's proportional control both for engines and thruster control so a windy day like today gives us a complete control of the boat without having to manipulate your throttles your steering and your thrusters all together so really intuitive helm obviously got two two seats here we've got a nice co-pilot seat next to me and then if we just spin the camera around you can take the visibility in even on a rather gray day here See, we've got an opening window here at the starboard helm to get your head out when you need to. And then up above us, I can't open it, obviously the rain today, but giant glass and carbon fiber opening hardtop here. So check out my channel for other videos on Predator 60s we've had through before to see how that works. It really does transform this open space when required. Uh, yet again, I get not able to demonstrate today but this is a, a drop down door mechanism as we've had with lots of our other boats in the range now just allows you to to open and close the 
cockpit and the deck saloon here into one area when you wish. So if we head on down, we we'll see what the accommodation's all about. Uh, we split three cabins, lower deck galley, obviously those in favour of galleys both up and down, pros and cons to each. The nice one really with a galley down being able to prepare a meal and then leave all the dirties down here whilst you enjoy it upstairs. So we've got upgrades on the unit colours here. So we've got the Bengay wood up top. And then we've got a contrast, almost a cappuccino colour sprayed finish here on the cabinetry. Good size refrigerator, got a slimline dishwasher, Miele microwave oven there, and there's lots of storage. These are all cupboards for your Royal Dalton crockery. We've got a plate, provision storage. Lift upstairs here gives you Handy place to stick the vacuum cleaner and a little bit of additional storage. And then opposite we have this little snug, great detailing on that table leg, all made bespoke in house. Again with that feature LED lighting underneath. And that, again, that sort of metallic graphite painted finish. Really nice area. Uh, we've got a 32 inch TV on the bulkhead there again linked into a, a full on board AV system and then cabin split into three defined zones so this is a VIP guest cabin forward you have to excuse the cushions on the bed so lots of other videos on my channel show it set up uh, we've got a nice little detailed pipe there on the exterior this is a fabric upgrade on the cushions this umbrella outside there's a 24 inch TV up on the wall there high level Storage lockers, lovely big glass windows here with opening port lights. Feature leather inlay trays there either side of the bed. A sprung mattress upgrade, of course. You see the detailing up on the headboard there with the inlaid glass panel with lots of little stainless steel and LED lighting again. All dimmable with these new touchscreen Weimar controls. So Jack and Joe access into this forward head. So this is shared between the two guest cabins as well as your day heads. We've got upgrades to the porcelain finish on the worktops there, which is really nice. And again, in the shower compartment itself, really nice stone over the standard Minerva finish. Big soaker shower up in the roof there. We've got electric heated towel rails on the wall here, both bathrooms. So great for having showers. We've got loads of water on board, 600 litres she carries, as well as the option for a, a water maker if you want to retrofit one as well. So this is the third cabin. So we've got a big wardrobe, 24 inch TV there on the wall. Again, all the beds covered up for protection at the moment, but two single beds there. Again, with a nice big whole band window to let some light in. And then several steps down as we're coming really into the belly of the boat, but we come into the full beam master stateroom here. And you'll immediately notice those giant hole windows. So it's a big beam with 4.7 meters on one of these. So it's a real wide boat and this is taking it right from beam to beam, you can see those giant windows, nice big opening port lights. So starboard side of the boat here, we've got a, a linear sofa arrangement. You can see the nice little detail of all the different color scatter cushions. Comes with a full set of Christy towels, which are a bright white finish in here by the looks of it. And then on the opposite port side of the boat, we've got a sideboard with a couple of storage cupboards, nice leather top on there. Again, you can see the little inlaid details on top of the bedside tables there. A 43 inch TV up on the 
bulkhead there as well as full um, speaker system. And you can see that giant mirrored panel up on the wall just to give a much more clever use of feeling of space in here. It's a really tastefully done boat, this one. I really like the colours. See the inlaid stainless detailing on the doors. And this is your master ensuite. So again, that lovely porcelain finish on the bulkheads. We're on EU two pin sockets, which are easy enough to change to UK sockets, depending on where you plan to use the boat. Obviously she's here in pool at the moment, but no chance, no problem to, uh, to move her off overseas if you want to use her down in the med, where most of these end up. So just put some shoes back on and we're going to have a look in the engine bay. So access through the cockpit sole here. Door comes right up vertical and then we've got a nice ladder access, which takes us down into the engine bay. So you see the outboard wing fuel tanks. We've got 2,200 liters split between the two tanks, one either side. See the hot water tank up above us. This is the, um, the garage, the forward end of the garage here. Lots of soundproofing everywhere, big fire suppression system. Fuel filters, battery chargers, etc. Everything's nicely labeled, easy to find. We're on a straight shaft configuration, so gearboxes are tucked down the back here. See the one of the many breaker panels throughout the boat. Breakers for the thruster systems. There's a void up back there, a 13 and a half kilowatt generator there, stowed down the back, coming zone and. And then we've got additional space down the starboard side here. See a machinery space accessed also from the crew cabin. You can see, worth noting the wiring over there, everything on the Sunseeker is done in white. We build our own looms in house, and everything's labeled throughout, bow to stern. So lots of redundancy in there. Lots of spare circuitry for adding additional systems in the future. Just allows us to control our systems and, and build to ISO standard. Again, these are all breaker panels on the DC side. Really nicely finished down here. So there you have it, say all the, all in all, a very complete package. If you did want to add a stabiliser system, it can be retrofitted to this boat, go straight in underneath the, um, the crew cabin bed in the stern end. We have retrofitted one into a boat this summer. I've just come forward now so you can try and take the boat in up close on the dock here. So I say stock boat, she's available now other than final PDI and any additional retrofit items you might want to put on. She's very much ready to go, set sail, ready for the 21 season. So if you'd like to know any further information, of course, as normal, my email is james at sunseekersouthampton.com or my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. Please get in touch over the Christmas holidays or early part of next year welcome the opportunity to to have you down here in pool to see this boat in the flesh or perhaps walk through the production lines and see how these come together from a barrel of resin to the finished product uh, i hope you've enjoyed the tour today say so sorry i can't set the boat up fully with all the cushions out but hopefully you'll get a feel from some of my other videos just how that works on a pred 60. Uh, obviously the the model down from this is the 55 evo just launching now january 21 which i've got a video tour about to, to release uh, and also the size up from this is a big jump up to the 74 Predator and Sport Yacht. So lots of options if you're into the Predator style, more of the sports boat, aggressive sort of driver's boat rather than the flybridge range. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, look forward to hearing from you.